In 2023, the country music community mourned the loss of several beloved stars, leaving a void in the industry. These talented individuals known for their distinctive voices and contributions to the genre have left a lasting impact on fans worldwide, and there is no question that they will be remembered fondly by generations of fans. Join us as we take a moment to honor and remember each of those who tragically lost their lives this year. On January 12th, the world was shocked when Lisa Marie Presley, the only child to the King Elvis Presley, unexpectedly passed away at the age of just 54 years old after suffering cardiac arrest. Following the release of Lisa Marie's full autopsy report by the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner's Office, it was revealed that Lisa Marie Presley's death was caused by a sequelae of a small bowel obstruction, which was described as an adhesion or scar tissue which had developed after bariatric surgery years prior. Only a couple of days following Lisa Marie Presley's passing, we then lost country singer and American Idol season 13 finalist C.J. Harris on January 15th at the young age of just 31 years old. A spokesperson for the Walker County Coroner's Office in Alabama confirmed to people that Harris had passed away unexpectedly after suffering a heart attack. January was such a tough start to the year. On January 18th, David Crosby of the Birds and Supergroup, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, passed away at the age of 81 years old. It was first revealed that David Crosby had passed after battling a long illness, according to a family statement. However, more details surrounding his passing was released after Graham Nash appeared on the podcast known as Kyle Meredith with Nash Shared. He was rehearsing for a show to do in Los Angeles with a full band. After three days of rehearsals, he felt a little sick, and he'd already had COVID, and he had COVID again. And so he went home and decided that he would take a nap, and he never woke up. In the latter part of January, on January 26th, songwriter Peter McCann passed away in his sleep at the age of 74 years old. McCann wrote for some of the most prolific names in the business, including Reba McIntyre, Crystal Gale, Jim Ed Brown, Mickey Gilley, Earl Thomas Conley, and many more. February 17th, Kyle Jacobs, arguably one of the most revered modern day songwriters and husband to country star Kelly Pickler, passed away at the age of 49 years old. According to the Metro Nashville police who spoke to TMZ at the time of Jacobs' passing, his wife Kelly Pickler and her assistant located Kyle in an upstairs bedroom of their home on the day of his passing. The autopsy later confirmed that Kyle Jacobs passed after taking his own life. In the beginning of March, on March 3rd, former lead singer Calvin Newton of the Oak Ridge Boys passed away at the age of 93 years old. Current member Bonsall shared the news and a tribute to Newton onto his social media where it read, Heading to Georgia for a funeral, an old Oak Ridge boy passed away. Calvin Newton, he was 90, the sweetest tenor voice you'll ever hear. I'll sing for him tomorrow. That's Calvin in the middle. Oak Ridge Boys History. Two days following Newton's passing, we learned that on March 5th, founding member and guitarist of Leonard Skinner, Gary Rossington, had passed away at the age of 71 years old. Rossington was the last original member to be a part of the iconic Southern rock band. It does not appear that his cause of death was ever revealed. Leonard Skinner left behind a touching tribute to Gary on social media where they wrote, it is with our deepest sympathy and sadness that we have to advise that we lost our brother, friend, family member, songwriter, and guitarist, Gary Rossington, today. Gary is now with his Skinner brothers and family in heaven and playing it pretty, like he always does. Please keep Dale, Mary, Annie, and the entire Rossington family in your prayers and respect the family's privacy at this difficult time. On April 24th, Keith Gaddis, one of the most legendary musicians and songwriters to ever do it in country music, lost his life unexpectedly at the young age of 52 years old following a tractor accident. Gaddis was remembered as a giant in the country music industry and penned songs for some of the most iconic artists, including George Strait, Kenny Chesney, Randy Travis, Willie Nelson, and many more not to mention the countless talents that he played alongside with throughout their career, including Dwight Yoakam. 
on May 1st, multi-time Grammy-nominated Canadian icon, legendary folk singer-songwriter Gordon Lightfoot passed away at the age of 84 years old. In a statement released by his publicist, Victoria Lord, it was learned that Lightfoot had passed away from natural causes. Just two months later in June, fans learned that longtime Grand Ole Opry musician and bluegrass pioneer Jesse McReynolds had passed away at the age of 93 years old after battling what was described as a long illness. The Opry shared, 59 years in our Opry family, countless nights of bluegrass picking and memories that will last forever. Thank you for everything, Jesse. We love you. Within the same month, on June 27th, we lost another bluegrass icon, Opry member, Bluegrass Hall of Fame inductee, and one half of the famed Osborne brothers, Bobby Osborne. Osborne passed away at the age of 91 years old. Rocky Top will forever remain as one of the most iconic and influential bluegrass songs of all time. In the following month, July, founding Eagles member Randy Meisner passed away on July 26th at the age of 77 years old after battling complications from COPD. The band turned to social media to tribute Randy as well as share the devastating news of his passing. The Eagles are sad to report that founding member, bassist, and vocalist Randy Meisner passed away last night, July 26th, in Los Angeles at age 77 due to complications from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. As the original bass player for the pioneering country rock group, Poco, Randy was at the forefront of the musical revolution that began in Los Angeles in the late 1960s. In 1971, Randy, along with Glenn Fry, Don Henley, and Bernie Leadon, formed the Eagles and contributed to the band's albums, Eagles, Desperado, On the Border, One of These Nights, and Hotel California. He was inducted with the Eagles into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1998. Randy was an integral part of the Eagles and instrumental in the early success of the band. His vocal range was astonishing, as is evident on his signature ballad, Take It to the Limit. Prior to Poco, he was the bassist and vocalist with Rick Nelson's Stone Canyon Band. Randy was born on March 8, 1946, in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. Then, on September 1st, the legendary Jimmy Buffett passed away at the age of 76 years old after privately battling skin cancer for some time. Leading up to Jimmy's unexpected passing, Buffett had canceled multiple shows and had an abrupt hospital visit in Boston where he addressed what he said was medical issues that required immediate attention. Jimmy also added that he looked forward to performing again when healthy. However, Buffett passed on September 1st. A tribute post was made to his official social media where it shared this photo that you see here and read. Jimmy passed away peacefully on the night of September 1st, surrounded by his family, friends, music, and dogs. He lived his life like a song to the very last breath and will be missed beyond measure by so many. On September 22nd, we lost another bluegrass icon, founding member of the Steel Drivers, Mike Henderson. Henderson passed away at the age of 70 years old in his sleep. Henderson also co-wrote on many of Chris Stapleton's songs throughout his career. The Steel Drivers left behind this touching tribute to their social media following Mike Henderson's passing. A lonesome goodbye. I remember the call from Mike Henderson when he just casually asked if I wanted to get together at his place on a Sunday night around 8 o'clock and play a little bluegrass. Unbeknownst to me at the time, he had been writing for several years with a young man named Chris Stapleton and had the idea for a group that would maybe play once a month down at the Station Inn. When I arrived that Sunday evening, I met Chris, Mike Fleming, and I had known Richard Bailey since I was a teenager. What started as a casual jam changed the course of my life. I can't begin to explain and share all the craziness and great times we all had together, but I will say, as I always have, it was all Hindo's fault. So all the steel drivers, past and present, are in shock today. As we have lost our original architect, we send our heartfelt condolences to Janet, Lauren, and Shannon. Hendo, we will see you again where rainbows never die. On October 9th, Hee Haw star and iconic country music musician Buck Trent passed away at the age of 85 years old. Trent, if any of you remember, had the honor of playing on Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You. He invented the electric banjo and starred on the hit TV series Hee Haw for eight long years. 
And finally, as of December 22nd, founding member of the original Dixie Chicks, Laura Lynch, lost her life at 65 years old after a horrific head-on car crash in Texas. Lynch originally played stand-up bass for the Dixie Chicks and then moved into the role of lead singer until 1995 when she was ultimately replaced by now lead singer Natalie Maines. The Chicks left a touching tribute for Lynch onto their social media following her passing. We are shocked and saddened to learn of the passing of Laura Lynch, a founding member of the Chicks. We hold a special place in our hearts for the time we spent playing music, laughing, and traveling together. Laura was a bright light. Her infectious energy and humor gave a spark to the early days of our band. Laura had a gift for design, a love of all things Texas, and was instrumental in the early success of the band. Her undeniable talents helped propel us beyond busking on street corners to stages all across Texas and the Midwest. Our thoughts are with her family and loved ones at this sad time. Signed, Emily, Marty, and Natalie. You know, it is never easy saying goodbye to those who have given us so much with their music and talents, the ones that we have grown to love, and the ones who may have even brought us into the genre to begin with. Country music will forever be grateful for the legacies that each of these folks leave behind. Each and every one of them will forever be missed and loved. So with that, I say thank you for everything. As always, guys, thank you all for tuning in here at CountryCast. That will be all for today's video.